YouTube Paternoster here and today I have a 120mm cooling liquid cooling unit for the CPU. But what's special about this ID cooling ideas to make a difference is that it's only $59. Yes my friends, $59. It is made in China. China, yep, made in China. And it's their it's ID cooling. I've never heard of them before. They recently popped up on the market. So I wanted to get some cheap for a, a separate rig I have just for a little bit of gaming because it was getting really hot with the standard cooler. And I, I really didn't want to spend any money and I wanted to get a liquid cooler. You know, there's no point in getting anything else. And for $59, this is cheap. This is really cheap. Now, I mean, there is a point of getting air coolers if, because, you know, because these things are so expensive. But because this is so cheap, it's priced in an air cooler, but with the potential of being a water cooling performer. So let's have a look at this because I haven't, I haven't found anything like this before. Especially ID cooling stuff. This is the first time I've seen it. And um, the reason I say it's made in China is because the actual company is Chinese. It's not that a, a company has exported and done it in China. The actual company is Chinese. So the box is pretty standard, but here we go. Oh yeah, alright. Instructions, instructions. No English, hang on. Okay, English on one side, Chinese on the other. Yeah, a bit of protection, but here it is. Ooh, very cheaply, cheaply wrapped. Cheaply wrapped. But, here is the actual CPU unit. And warning, remove before installation. Okay, good point. That is a very good point of view. Right, so that will be removed. Caution, no warranty if torn. Okay, we won't be opening that up, but it seems very heavy set. I don't know, it's very heavy. Here is the fan. It's the next piece I can take out, so it's not already connected, but this fan looks great. Look at that, look how many um, little fan blades there is. This is a very substantial fan one, and it's got rubber grommets on the bottom. This is pretty nifty, rubber grommets here, there. Yeah, yeah, no, it's nicely colored red. Does the spring come off? No, it doesn't, so you, it'll have to be red. Um, DC brushless fan, uh, 12 volts, 0.38 amps. All right, doesn't say how many, um, how many RPM this is, but let's just put that to the side. What do we have here? Mount mounting bracket. Oh, and they give you a little bit of, oh yeah, ID cooling. Um, ID cooling, because the O's are colored differently. Um, so we've got the mounting brackets on, all just sort of piled in there. But let's have a look at the radiator. Okay, very cheap sort of box. Nothing special about it. But let's have a look. This is really heavy for what it is. I mean, geez. This is really large. I mean, look at that size. That's, that's quite off the CPU, I mean. Sure. And it's fairly bendy. Looks like the mounting for this is done pretty well. I just, you know, I, I don't know what to say. It's just, it looks, it all looks pretty fine to me. Like, you know, it, it's just $59. It's cost as much as a decent air cooler and, and it's, and it's, it's an air cooler. So, you, you know, the, the pipes aren't bendy. I'm gonna give, it, give them that. The pipes are quite difficult, like, you know, they're quite solid, so depending on what kind of rig you have, I'm guessing it'll be maybe a bit more difficult to mount these. I don't know where I'm going to mount them, but it's a single one. You can hear the liquid in there, splooshing around. Got one little power. There's no software with this one, I don't believe. They, I think it just, it goes on and that's it. Um, so that's the pump power and this is the fan one, which is got four, so it can be controlled by the CPU, but the pump itself cannot. Um, Mounting gear, all standard, fits every type of um, motherboard, AMD and Intel, and yeah, that's about it. I'm going to get it mounted, and uh, later on I'll give you guys a bit of a performance review, really, because, I mean, that, that is the point. Let's see if it brings down the temperature of the CPU. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you later.